Uh, in terms of just kind of getting an opportunity, I know it's a big chance to kind of go and see and you measure yourself against some of the top towns in California, some of these other places. Uh, what does that kind of mean to you today, and what are maybe some things you're trying to kind of show today? Uh, it's just it's, uh, competition. I just love the competition. It helps me just to get better. I work on my craft and everything I need to work on and show, um, show what I got for all these people. Obviously, I think uh, this last season was kind of a big one for you just in terms of kind of getting on the map, getting some more attention, yeah. kind of showing what you can do really. I mean, uh, what was it like for you to kind of go through this season and knowing there was attention on you and teams are going to be gunning for you and kind of maybe a different level of kind of attention for yourself? Uh, it was a little different than what it was my sophomore year. Uh, sophomore year, I was coming in, nobody really knew who I was besides the people that grew up with me. But now everybody knows who I am, so now I gotta be prepared for those teams that are preparing for me. Uh, in terms of just your skill set and maybe some things you were focused on, happy that you're able to show last season, maybe things you're continuing to work on. What are some parts of your game that you're really kind of focused on right now, and maybe are happy with that you showed last season? Uh, right now, I just gotta focus on uh, field vision. I mean, that's like one of my favorite things that I got, but uh, I just gotta make it a little bit better. And also my cutting, I got to work on that too because I don't really use that that much in the game. So that's one thing I got to work better for. Obviously, you go to a school that had Kadeem Carey at one point. Yeah. Uh, he stayed home, went to U of A. I know U of A with Coach uh, DeMarco Murray were really kind of showing you a lot of attention. He's mm -hmm. very involved. What's it been like kind of since then? Obviously, he's on to Oklahoma now. Uh, but what's it been like kind of getting to know Arizona overall and trying to kind of get to know the coaches after all these changes? Uh, it's, it's good. I like my, all the coaches that are there that I keep in touch with. Uh, they're all good people. They're nice to me and they treat me well. So it's a good place over there. Uh, was it difficult to kind of see Coach Murray go? I know last spring you kind of spent some time with him. Yeah. You went out there and were kind of on the field with him during practice. Was it kind of tough for you to see him kind of leave and, and knowing, hey, if you go to Arizona, it's going to be someone else coaching you? Yeah, um, it was kind of tough to see him leave, but at the same time, I mean, he's got to do what he's got to do. So I'm, I'm happy for him, for his new job, what he's got to do. But... It sucked to see him leave because he gave me a little bit of a little bit of passion for them over there. But now I got to see who the new coach is. Uh, so you haven't had a chance to kind of meet or talk with the new coach? Not yet. Uh, in terms of maybe who you've been dealing with most outside of Coach Murray with that staff, who you've been talking the most or kind of keeping in contact with you? Uh, Mazzoni, Taylor Mazzoni. I've been in touch with him the most out of everybody. Okay. Uh, what's it been like kind of getting to know him? Uh, he's a great person. Great personality. I love him. He talks to me more, and more on a personal rather, level rather than football, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, obviously, the trend I think everyone knows by now is kind of for Arizona guys to look elsewhere and leave. What do you think has been kind of behind that? As someone who's grown up in Tucson, been around Tucson, I know it's obviously that cool to kind of just see something different, uh -huh. be part of something different. What do you think has been kind of key to players, you know, leaving home and trying to branch out a little bit more? Um, most of them is just kind of a new area because most of the kids obviously grew up in southern Arizona and most of them are trying to um, trying to see something different, trying to live out in a different area, do more things since Tucson doesn't really have much besides football and all that kind of stuff. For you, what is the pool then to, to maybe stay home if, it was, if you were to go down that path? It would just have to be football. Uh, in terms of kind of looking forward, I know more schools are going to get involved. You're going to get to know some more schools, take mm -hmm. some more visits, things like that. What are some things you're going to be looking out for as you kind of continue to go through this process? Uh, what they have to offer academically. I mean, most football programs will have almost the same stuff for football, but if they can offer something academically and uh, to prove that I can actually have a career after football, then that's something I'll be paying attention more. Uh, in terms of visits, I know this time of year everyone's trying to kind of pull you everywhere, get, get you out to their campus. I mean. What do you have kind of on the, on the schedule for visits and places you maybe try to get out to? Uh, I know I'm trying to get out to Utah. I'm trying to get back to Washington. I'll be at Cal, uh, US, USC, UCLA, all those schools over there. I know Arizona's having a big uh, community, I think, at the yeah. end of March. Are you going to get out there for that? I'll be there for sure.